Imagine you've made $1,000 and you're thinking, how am I going to grow this big time? Well, you're in luck because today we're looking into the world of investing and wealth creation. But here's one thing you should put into consideration. It all depends on whether you're just making a one-off investment or planning to invest more in the future. Now, who is our guide on this journey? It's no other person than the real investor guru, Warren Buffett. His brilliant ideas are like our treasure map, showing us how to turn that $1,000 into something more exciting by the end of 2024. So get ready as we are getting started by revealing the secret to making your money work for you. Let's get into it. Number 1. Investing $1,000 You don't need to be a genius in what I do. That's the good thing about it. So imagine saving up a cool $1,000 and ready to dip your toes into the world of investing. No luck. But hey, it's a start, right? Warren Buffett himself once said how his returns have been 50% a year for more than 10 years, which is an impressive performance, especially considering his humble beginnings. Now kudos to you for saving that $1,000. It's one step ahead of the pack, definitely. But here's the truth. If you're thinking of throwing that money in the stock market and hoping for a miracle, well, you might want to pause. Let's take this for instance. You got into investment in a year of market growth, with profits up a staggering 25%. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? But hold on. It can only be so much fun when you have more than $1,000 to invest. Do you want to know what your $1,000 could have done? For your $1,000 investment, it will only return as little as $250 without making your life better financially. Let's get into the idea of keeping your money in a savings account or CD to get a guaranteed return. As of February 2023, the average return on savings accounts is a paltry 0.33%. That means if you invested your $1,000 for 5 years, you would only see it grow to $1,106. It's a guaranteed return, sure, but it won't exactly put you on the money lane. Now, let's focus on CDs or Certificates of Deposit. These financial instruments tie up your money for a period of time and offer slightly higher returns than banks. However, the average 5-year CD rate is 1.37%. Sounds promising, right? However, it is not at all. Your $1,000 investment will only grow to $1,068 in 5 years. While it's a modest increase, it's hardly the game changer for your financial future. But what about the banks? Even with the risks involved, investing in stock markets can offer huge returns. Consider this, your $1,000 investment can grow to $1,400 with an average return of 7% over 5 years. This is certainly the most practical approach, but it won't still get you rich or make you financially stable. Number 2. Investing in oneself in the world of getting richer, one thing stands out as super important, which is simply put as investing in yourself. Like Warren Buffett said, most people go through life using up a very, very small part of their potential. And so, anything you do that invests in yourself is the best investment you can possibly make. This means as you keep on learning, you get better on doing things. What does investing in yourself mean? Investing in yourself means you keep on learning new things and getting better at skills. In today's world, being able to do different things well is really important. You can learn new stuff by reading books, watching videos, or taking classes. By getting good at things that lots of companies need, you make yourself really valuable. Some skills are super useful in lots of different jobs, like marketing and coding. These are things that lots of companies want, but not everyone can do. Just like Charlie Munger said, develop into a lifelong self-learner through voracious reading. Cultivate curiosity and strive to become a little wiser every day. This means you'll always be getting smarter and better as you keep on learning. In the essence, making yourself better doesn't just help you make more money. It also makes you feel really good inside. So let's follow Buffett's and Munger's advice and keep on learning and growing. That's how we'll make the most of our lives. Number 3. Creating Passive Income Streams When it comes to building wealth, having different income streams should be taken as something very important. With just $1,000, you have the opportunity to venture into creating passive income sources. In today's digital age, the internet has opened up countless avenues for generating additional income. However, the journey to establishing a successful income stream requires dedication and effort. You can allocate your $1,000 towards building and scaling a business. 
Whether it's launching an online store, offering freelance services, or developing digital products, the options are plentiful. The key lies in leveraging your expertise and passion to create value in the marketplace. As your business grows and generates revenue, you can reinvest the profits to fuel further expansion. Moreover, it's crucial to adopt a long-term perspective. While immediate returns are enticing, placing continuous learning and self-improvement as being important will ensure sustained success. By continually investing in your education and skill development, you enhance your earning potential and secure your financial foundation. This proactive approach not only safeguards against economic uncertainties, but also fosters a mindset of growth and durability. Number 4. Investing in the Stock Market When it comes to expanding your income streams, you might wonder, what's the next step? The aim here is to secure a passive income, where your initial investment, which is $1,000 plus regular contributions, work to earn money for you while you focus on primary income. As Warren Buffett wisely remarked, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. And honestly, who wants that? Not many, I reckon. Now, the most common path to passive income is through the stock market. But hold up, I'm not just talking about picking individual stocks. For most people, the stock market conjures images of buying into companies like Tesla or Google, which, while exciting, can be risky. Instead, consider index funds. As Buffett himself has said, the best single thing you could have done was just buy an index fund. Think of it like this. Investing in one company is like betting all your money on a single horse race, whereas index fund spreads your investment across a whole stable of horses. Take Tesla, for example. You could pour all your cash into their stock. But if they hit a difficulty like a major product issue or legal trouble, you're in for a rough ride. On the flip side, if they hit it big with a groundbreaking innovation, you're rolling in money. People stocks offer higher potential returns, but come with equally high risks. That's where index funds shine. What is an index fund? Index funds are like investing in a basket of companies, offering diversity without the need for extensive research. Whether it's the broad market, a specific sector like tech, or companies that pay dividends, there's an index fund for every investor. Plus, they're as easy to buy as individual stocks. But remember, investing always carries risks, even with index funds. So do your homework and don't blindly follow the herd. Starting out, you might consider general market funds like VOO or SPY, which track the top 500 US companies. These are reliable options, mirroring the ups and downs of the overall economy. Interested in tech? Look into funds like VGT or QQQ, offering exposure to tech giants like Microsoft and Google. And if you're after steady income, check out dividend funds like VYM or SDY. Now, here's a pro tip. Set up automatic contributions from your paycheck, allocating a percentage directly into your investment account. This way, you're consistently growing your investment without the temptation to spend it elsewhere. As Buffett famously advises, do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. Number 5. Real Estate Investment Another avenue to consider for investing your $1,000 and subsequent funds is real estate. While this amount may not suffice to purchase a rental property outright, the rise of online platforms has opened up alternative opportunities. Crowdfunding real estate platforms, for instance, enable investors to pool small amounts like $1,000 with others to finance real estate ventures. Through this approach, investors can benefit from potential increases in property value and earn passive income generated from rental payments. It's important to note, however, that investments in physical real estate are less liquid compared to stocks as selling a property involves a more complex process. Alternatively, real estate investment trusts, or REITs, offer indirect exposure to the real estate market. With REITs, investors can buy shares in companies that specialize in real estate investments. These companies typically generate income from rental payments and property sales, which is distributed to shareholders in the form of dividends. Unlike direct real estate investments, REITs offer greater liquidity since investors are not directly tied to physical properties. Moreover, REITs often provide higher dividend yields as they are mandated to allocate a significant portion of their profits to shareholders. In summary, real estate investment presents diverse options for individuals seeking to grow their wealth. Whether through crowdfunding platforms or REITs, investors can access the potential for passive income and capital appreciation inherent in the real estate market. However, it's crucial to consider factors such as liquidity and risk tolerance before making investment decisions in real estate. If investing doesn't align with your financial goals at the moment, taking debt repayment as something important can serve as a strategic move to improve your financial stability.
But by paying off debt early, you're essentially securing a return on investment. For instance, if you have a loan with a 4% interest rate such as a car loan or mortgage, paying it off a year in advance translates to a 4% return by saving on future interest payments. This approach not only reduces financial burdens, but also frees up more cash flow for other purposes. Ultimately, accelerating debt repayment offers the dual benefits of minimizing interest expenses and increasing disposable income, laying a solid foundation for your financial future. Conclusion I am glad to see you here at the end of this video. I hope this video has provided valuable insights into various investment opportunities and strategies to enhance your financial well-being. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on wealth building. Feel free to share this video with friends and family, like it, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Your engagement encourages us to create more content tailored to your needs. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.